Hi, welcome back to this advanced inventory tutorial. My name is Mihalik from Invicta Studios. If you have any questions during the video, uh, just be sure to leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to help you. Also, if you'd like uh, some sort of one-on-one -on -one, uh, tutoring or helps with other questions, if I have time, I'll be glad to help. Alright, so we're... Uh, in the last video, uh, we had gotten this far with the uh, UMG inventory widget. Um, we'll pick up from there. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I think it's a little too wide. That looks a little better. Uh, there it is. Scoot this down and let's add a spacer and some buttons. So let's set this yeah, 15. It's a little much. That looks good. Add a button. That's a large button. Actually, I think it's probably normal size. I'm just making a small widget for some reason. Uh, let's see. Mm, I think filled would be better. And add in a text. Set this to 12, and we could say this one should be used. And um, later on, I'll show you how to set up the binding, so we can actually have that change depending on what it is. Like uh, you can say eat, or have it say drink, or equip, or really whatever you want it to. Um, let's add in another button box. And in text, set this down to 16. And I'll say this one to drop. So we can drop the item. That's wrong border. How's this one? It's also the wrong border. There we go. I'm going to pull that down just a smidge. Check this. I set this to 12. There we go. Alright, um, what we want to do now is go to the scroll box. And if you notice up here, you can rename it. And you can set it to a variable. And we'll need that. So I'll call this inventory scroll. And it is a variable. Because what we're going to do is each item that pops up is actually going to be its own button. And we'll have to create that depending on what's in your inventory. This will be item data scroll. And it is also a variable. You no, know, I could probably get rid of that. And we can have it here in the scroll box. Because if you have a whole bunch of things like weight, volume, uh, maybe size or anything. Probably want that to be on the scroll. So we'll drag this into the scroll box. I uh, should probably set it to be a little. S well, we'll just make everything bigger. So inside the scroll box, we'll have weight. We can add another text. Set that to what is that? Eight that to the age as well. Um, you can continue to add these different things but since I just have weight and text we'll set that to be the text. And we'll or I'll set down the text so I don't forget. And we'll bind this so it, it'll change to whatever you need it to. Um, since it's not going to be spawning it in. Um, this need well yeah, this doesn't need to be a variable. It didn't hurt, hurt, but this one does. All right, next, I should compile and save that. Um, we'll add the buttons for this, which are going to pop up. So we can minimize this, and you'll need to create a new widget for them. Widget. So I'll call this 
Inventory item button. And this one will be a little bit different. Um, in, uh, when you click the screen, it'll select the canvas panel, which is basically the monitor, and you can actually delete that. Um, what we're going to put in instead is the scroll box. Just put it in, and it'll automatically fill up the screen because um, that basically is going to be its container. Um, you can just add in one button and a text inside the button, and that's pretty much it. I like to um, select the button, and I actually set uh, the color. Uh, not that one. The background. Yeah, I set the background to clear, so it just so it's actually a button, but it just shows up as the text. All right. Um, compile and save, and that's about it so far with the UMG uh, widget setup. Um, in the next video, we'll start on the actual coding. So, if you like the video or series so far, be sure to leave a like or comment or subscribe. Thank you.